Welcome back students! Ito si Sir Garbo at ngayong araw, pag-aaralan naman natin ang variations. Variation is defined by any change in some quantity due to change in another. We often come across with different types of variation problems in mathematics. Variation problems involve fairly simple relationships or formulas involving one variable being equal to one, to one term. Variations can be generally classified as direct variation, inverse variation, joint variation, and combined variation. So when we say variation, we commonly deal with changes. Okay? So kapag ka merong isang variable na nagbago, yung iba pa ay sasabay sa pagbabagong yun. Okay? Meron tayong apat na uri ng variation. We have direct, we have inverse, joint, then we have combined. Malalaman natin ang bawat isa dito sa apat na to as we proceed with our lesson. Let's start with direct variation. A direct variation can also be called as direct proportion is a relationship between two variables x and y that can be written as y equals to k times x and k must not be equal to zero. Okay, this situation occurs when the ratio of two variables is constant k. Okay, ibig sabihin nun, when we say direct variation, dalawang variable ang related sa isa't isa, and the formula for that is y equals to k times x. Yung k at x, yung x and y natin, pwede mapalta ng iba't ibang variable representation. As long as the value of k must not be equal to 0, hindi pwedeng maging 0. Kasi pag naging 0 yun, pag naging 0 yung k natin, ito magiging 0 na din. Okay, so hindi pwede yun sa variation. Kasi magiging iisa lang value ng y. Nasa yung pagbabago, nasa yung change dun. So, we have the general pattern for the formula y equals to k times x. Let's have this example. The variable y varies directly to x. Given the table below, what is y if x is 9? So, this is our table. Kung ang x natin, 3, 6, 9, the value is of y is 15, 30, then kailangan natin mahanap yung nawawalang value. To do that, kailangan muna natin alamin yung constant value, yung k. So, using the formula, y equals to k times x. Substitute mo lang yung value ng y, we have 15, equals to k times 3. Okay? Then, Let's apply multiplication property of equality. So, we have 1 third times 15 equals to k times 3 times 1 third. Okay, yung 1 third, that is the multiplic multiplicative inverse of 3. Okay, so 15 times 1 third, that is 5. 3 times 1 third, that is 1. That's why we have 5 equals to k. Then, para maging proper yung solution natin, let's apply symmetric property of equality. So, we have k equals to 5. Because what we are looking is the value of k. Okay? Then, since meron na tayong value ng constant na 5, kailangan na natin mahanap yung value ng y kung ang x ay 9. So, using the same formula, y equals to k times x, substitute mo lang. So, we have y equals to 5 times 9. So, we have 45. Okay? The value of y is 45. And therefore, if y varies directly to x, then y is 45 if x is 9 and the constant is 5. Okay? And kung titingnan nyo ng mabuti yung table of values natin, yung x natin, ang value niya ay pataas. Yung y natin, ganun din. Okay? So, pag sinabi nating direct variation, kapag ka ang isang variable ay umangat, yung isang variable kasabay na aangat din or tataas ang value. Okay? Then, Kung mag vice versa man, pag yung isang variable ay bumaba, yung isa pa ay bababa din ang value. Okay, so that is direct variation. And direct variation can also become direct square variation. So kapag ka naging ganun naman, we have this case. Direct square variation states that y varies directly to the square of x with a non-zero constant k such that y equals to k times the square of x. Okay, so direct variation pa rin siya, ang kaibahan lang, yung x natin naging square. Okay, and 
For example, if p varies directly to the square of q and p is 36 when q is 3, let us find the value of q when p is 196. Okay, so, gagamitan naman natin to ng formula for the direct square variation. Okay, so, ganun pa rin naman, katulad nga sinabi ko sa inyo, mapapalitan or pwedeng mapalitan yung y tsaka yung x sa formula. Okay, so we have p equals to k times q square. Substitute lang muna natin yung unang mga given values para makuha natin yung constant. So we have 36 equals to k times the square of 3. Yung 36, that is the value of the first p. Yung 3, the value of the first q. Okay? Evaluate lang natin. So, we have 36 equals to k times 9. Then, apply multiplication property of equality. So, we have 1 over 9 times 36 equals to 9 times 1 over 9. Okay, that's why we have 4 equals to k. Then, para maging proper, symmetric property. So, we have k equals to 4. So, meron na tayong value ng k. Okay, since may k na tayo, pwede na natin mahanap yung value ng uh, q. Okay, similar formula, we have p equals to k times the square of q. Substitute mo lang, ang p natin ay 196. Ang k na nakompute natin ay 4. So, we have 196 equals to 4 times the square of q. Okay, then, paano nangyaring 4 times q square equals to 196? That is symmetric property. Okay. Then, apply tayo ng multiplication property of equality. Okay? At multiplicative inverse ng 4, we have 1 fourth. So, 1 fourth divided by, or rather, 1 fourth times 4 and 196 times 1 fourth. Okay? So, 1 fourth times 4 is the same with 4 divided by 4. 196 times 1 fourth is the same with 196 divided by 4. So, we have q squared equals to 49. Okay. Then, ang kailangan lang natin ay q. So, kailangan i-extract pa natin yung root. Okay. So, kung tandaan nyo yung process ng extracting the root sa, complete, sa quadratic equation, so, ganun lang din yon. So, kunin natin square root, both sides of this equation. So, we have q equals to positive and negative 7. And since dalawa yan, so, magkakaroon tayo ng solution set. So, our solution set is positive 7 and negative 7. Okay, so isa lang. Ibig sabihin yan, ang value ng Q natin either 7 or negative 7. Okay? Since both of them can satisfy the equation. Okay, therefore, if P varies directly to the square of Q, then Q is 7 and or negative 7 if P is 196 and the constant is 4. Pero, kung titingnan natin yung given dito, all given numbers are positive. So, in this case, the most useful value for Q is the is positive 7. Okay? So, yun. Then, another kind of variation, we have inverse. Okay? So, paano naman tong inverse variation? Inverse variation states that Y varies inversely as X or Y is inversely proportional to X. If there is non-zero constant k, such that y equals to k over x, or xy equals to k. Okay? The decrease of one quantity results to the increase of the other quantity. So, opposite siya ng direct variation. So, kung ang direct variation, we have k times x. Dito naman, divide. So, we have k divided by x. Okay? And dito sa inverse variation, ang kaibahan, pag tumaas yung isang variable, bababa yung isa. Okay? And vice versa. Okay? So, magkasalse yung flow ng variables. Let's have this example. The variable y varies inversely to x. Given the table below, what is y if x is 4? So, we have table here. Ang x natin ay 2 and 4. Ang y natin ay 40. So, using the formula, kailangan makita natin yung value ng constant muna. Okay? So, let's substitute. The given value for y is 40, for x is 2. Okay, so we have 40 equals to k over 2. Then, since we have here 40, may denominator tong 40 na 1, since that is a whole number. So, we have a fraction equal to another fraction. So, that is a proportion, pwede siyang i-cross-multiply. 
Okay? Pwede ka mag-cross multiply dyan. So, 40 times 2 at 1 times k. So, pwede yun. Kasi nga, may lumitaw na proportion. Okay, so we have 40 times 2 equals to k. So, we have 80. Then, para maging proper, let's apply symmetric property. So, we have k equals to 80. Okay, then since may k na tayo, may constant na tayo, pwede na natin mahanap yung y kung ang x ay 4. So, similar formula lang, we have y equals to k over x. Okay, then substitute mo lang yung value. 80 divided by 4 equals to 20. So, ang y natin ay 20. Okay, therefore, if y varies inversely to x, then y is 20 if x is 4 and the constant is 80. Okay? Then, kung titingnan nyo yung value ng x and y natin dito, yung x natin pataas. Yung y natin pababa. Okay? So, yung flow nung dalawang variable ay magkabaligtad. Okay? That is why it is called an inverse variation. Okay? Then, let's have another one. We have joint variation. If the ratio of one quantity to the product of the other two quantities is constant, then they vary jointly. That is, if y varies jointly as x and z, then y over xz equals k or y equals to k times x times z. Okay, dito naman, kaibahan lang, meron na tayong z or another variable na nadagdag. Okay, pero as long as the ratio of y and the product of x and z is equal to the constant value and our k is not equal to 0. That is our joint variation. Okay? Tandaan, hindi pwedeng lagi maging 0 or hindi mag pwedeng magkaroon ng value na 0 sa k. Okay? Para sa variation. Let's have this example. The variable p varies jointly to q and r. The value of p is 30 when q is 5 and r is 3. What is P if Q is 7 and R is 5? So, katulad ng ginagawa natin, commonly, let us first find the value of the constant. So, yung equation muna natin. We have P equals to K times Q times R. Bakit yan ang ginamit? Okay, katulad nga sabi ko sa inyo, yung Y, X, and Z, pwedeng mapalta ng, val ng variable representation. Okay? So, substitute lang natin yung mga first given values. Ang unang P natin ay 30. Ang unang Q natin ay 5. Ang unang R natin ay 3. So, we have 30 equals to K times 5 times 3. Evaluate mo muna. So, we have 30 equals to K times 15. Then, from that, let us apply multiplication property of equality. Okay? So, multiplicative inverse ng 15 ay 1 over 15. So, we have 1 over 15 times 30 and 15 times 1 over 15. So, as a result, we have 2 equals to k. Para maging proper, apply symmetric property. So, we have k equals to 2. So, yan na yung constant natin. Okay, since may constant na tayo, pwede na nating ma-solve yung value ng p gamit yung given na q at yung given r natin at yung na-solve nating constant. So, we have p equals to k times q times r. Substitute mo lang yung k natin, 2. Yung q natin na sunod ay 7. Yung r natin na sunod ay 5. Okay. So, multiply mo lang. So, we have 2 times 7 times 5. We have p equals to 70. So, that is our p. And therefore, if p varies jointly to q and r, then p is 70. If q is 7, r is 5 and the constant is 2. Okay. So, may tanong ba? Okay, kung may tanong, you can simply comment down below para mabigyan natin ng linaw sa mga susunod pa nating discussions. Okay, then last one, last kind of variation, we have combined variation. This is a variation where one quantity varies directly to other quantity and inversely to other quantity. Okay, the equation y so, kx over z means that y varies directly as x and inversely as z. Okay, so sa combined variation, uh, nag-combine naman tayo ng direct at inverse. Okay? So, example, the variable l varies directly to m and inversely to n. 
the value of L is 45 when M is 5 and N is 2. What is L if M is 8 and N is 4? So, same process pa lang din naman. Okay? So, kailangan lang natin ng formula. L equals to K times M over N. Kasi nga, L varies directly to M. Then, inversely to N. Kaya, L equals to K times M. Tapos, dinivide natin sa N. Okay? Gamitin natin yung mga unang values ng L, ng M, tsaka ng N para makahanap natin yung K. So, 45 equals to K times 5 divided by 2. Ang 45, meron yung denominator na 1. So, pwede tayong mag cross multiply. Okay? Kasi nga ay may lumitaw na proportion. Okay. Then, from that, We have 45 times 2 equals to K times 5. Okay? And then, simplify lang natin. So, we have 90 equals to K times 5. After that, apply lang tayo ulit ng multiplication property of equality. So, we have 1 fifth times 90 and 5 times 1 fifth. Ang 1 fifth ay galing dun sa multiplicative inverse ng 5. And from that, we have 18 equals to K. Symmetric property para maging proper. So, we have k equals to 18. May constant na tayo. Okay. So, since may constant na tayo, mahanap na natin yung L para sa next case natin. So, we have L equals to k times m over n. Substitute ka lang ng mga values na given and yung k na na-compute natin. So, we have L equals to 18, our k, times 8, the given m. Yan yung pangalawang given na value ng M. Ty divided by 4, yung pangalawang given ng N. Okay, so we have 18 times 8 divided by 4. We have 36. So that is our L. And therefore, if Y varies directly to M in inversely to N, then L is 36 if M is 8, N is 4, and the constant is 18. Okay? And... That's all for our lesson about variation. Tandaan, pag sinabi natin direct variation, pag tumaas ang isa, tataas din ang isa. Bumaba ang isa, pababa din ang isa. Pag sinabi naman natin inverse variation, tumaas ang isa, bababa yung isang variable. Kapag ka nabaligtad, ganun pa rin. Okay? Pag bumaba yung isa, tataas naman yung isa pang variable. Okay, then we have joint variation. Under joint variation, Para siyang direct variation, pero merong Z, okay, na dumagdag. Tatlo yung variable na consider Okay, and then, pag sinabi naman natin combined, that is a combination of direct and inverse variation. Okay, kung meron pa kayong tanong, or meron kayong clarification, pwede kayong magsulat ng comment sa comment box natin para mabigyan linaw pa natin sa mga susunod nating discussion. Okay. That's all for now for our lesson. Thank you for watching and always keep safe.